Yeah, you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Rich, and as you can see, it's winter here, very snowy and cold, but also very beautiful. And I wanted to make a video for you guys. I'm actually writing a new book, and this one is very different from my last book, The Natural, and I've written something in there on persuasion. So I wanted to give you the benefit of my latest thoughts and make a quick little video for you. So the subject is persuasion, basically getting people to do what you want them to do. And hopefully it's also things that, you know, they would want to do as well. So for example, if you've got a lazy friend who never does any exercise or, you know, someone who's really shy and introverted and they'll never come out with you, uh, you can use this stuff as well, but of course you can use it in your dating life as well. So I'm going to cover a few concepts. The first thing I want to cover is um, not following established no paths. What that means is that in certain situations in our life, we've got these reflexive responses where we almost immediately want to say no. So someone stops us in the street and says, do you have a minute? Uh, someone calls us at home and says, uh, could I take a few seconds of your time to tell you something? And you just say no um, and you finish the conversation. And when it comes to dating, uh, women also have these established no paths. So situations where usually in their life, when these situations have happened, they've avoided them, got out of them, said no very quickly. So think about uh, talking to a woman, you know, approaching her right away, asking for her number. Hey, you're pretty, can I have your number? Or immediately asking, hey, could I buy you a drink? Or writing to a girl on Tinder saying, uh, you know, Shall we, would you like to go on a date sometime? Let's go grab some drinks sometime. Um, later when you know her a little bit better maybe saying something that involves the words my place you know coming back to my place and that's kind of a, a trigger that can get that no response um, likewise in your normal life you know if you're asking people uh, do you want to do this and, and you're getting a no response then think about whether you're following these established no paths where people would usually say no and just by avoiding uh, num those kind of um, specific phrases like can I have your number and do you want to come back to my place and things like that you will get better um, responses by asking for the same things but just in a different way so what you can do is you can follow there's a there's quite a famous thing called a yes set and it goes something like this that if you ask three questions uh, that get the answer yes and then you ask um, the question that you're actually interested in, then you're more likely to get a yes response to that because they've been saying yes already. So, you know, I could say, uh, are you watching me on this video now? You know, does it look like it's cold outside? And then do you want to sign up for my $20,000 diamond training program, whatever? And you're going to supposedly be more likely to say yes because you've said yes to the first two things. But it's kind of basic and I think there's a better way to use this information and use it a bit smarter um, and that's basically to get almost um, the person to agree in their mind to the thing that you're going to propose before you even propose it so imagine you're talking to a girl in the bar and she's drinking an interesting looking cocktail or even a mojito you could say oh I see you're drinking a mojito so I guess you like cocktails and she says yes and you know you talk about what kind of cocktails she likes and then you say um, you know I really like going to cocktail bars where there's a good barman and you know sometimes you can just ask you know make me something that's uh, not too sweet and like this and with whiskey and they'll do something really interesting with fresh fruit blah 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 and you get her kind of nod nodding along uh, liking the idea that about cocktails the idea about cocktail bars and then you just suggest you say, have you been to this new cocktail bar called blah, blah, blah? They have these really cool cocktails. Oh, no, I haven't been. She's already in the enthusiastic mode. And then you say, oh, well, we should go sometime. And, you know, uh, put your number in my phone and I'll text you and we'll arrange it. And because you've already got, you know, it's kind of like the, le the yes set in terms of you already know that the answer's going to be yes. You've already generated that agreement and you've got to got her to agree to something that she already likes so whenever you're with a girl you can try and find these things that you think she might be interested in if she likes going to um, bars clubs cocktail bars you can use that if she likes um, a certain type of food you can kind of build up her enthusiasm about that talk about something passionately get her to buy into it and say wow yeah that sounds good and then use that point uh, to go for the number so Anytime you're in a situation, dating or otherwise, 
you can think about the outcome you want and then think about how you might get the person to kind of passionately agree to the things uh, before that that would lead her to say yes. So, so far we've covered not, not following those established no paths and how to um, kind of present a situation that someone is bound to say yes to and then use that to lead to, you know, the dating situation going for the date. Um, the final tool that is really, really funny and cool to use is illusory choice or the double bind. And, you know, a lot of girls are very confident um, and they don't, they want a man to kind of take the lead, but they also want to feel like they have some power and choice, you know. So you might have met lots of girls that say, oh, maybe I'll meet you, I'll let you know and things like that. And women that have a lot of guys chasing them are more likely to, you know, to feel this power and to kind of play with guys. And they want some sense of being in, in control of things. So um, this is where this comes in, this illusory choice. And it goes like this. So once you've suggested, you know, a meeting, um, you can say something um, along the lines of, OK, cool. So I'm going to pick you up on Saturday. And what's a good time for you? Eight or nine o'clock? So you include, you know, the little question which gives her the feeling that she has some say in the matter and some choice, but you're still leading, you're being the man, but you're also doing something where you're giving her a choice of something that really doesn't matter. You're going on the date, but it, and you don't really care if it's at eight or nine o'clock. The key thing is that you're going on the date. Likewise, if you're with a girl in a bar, and you want to take her somewhere somewhere else or try to take her home you can use the same thing so you're talking to her she's got some uh, some of her drink left and you say oh it's getting it's getting kind of lame here um you know this this dj is not so good and you kind of get her to agree when the energy's down or you say oh it's really crowded here you know try and find something wrong with the current place and then you say we should go somewhere else um and she's like yeah maybe like okay um do you want to finish your should we go now or do you want to finish your drink first and you give her the choice of either leaving immediately or finishing her drink and then go in but in any case you don't really mind the key thing is that you've got that agreement um to leave so think about different ways you can use it even going back to you know online dating works very well and you know in text and things like that and the way you'd apply this whole process in online dating is that, you know, you'd message the girl on Tinder or whatever. And instead of saying, um, what are you doing this weekend? Let's grab a drink. Instead of following that established path that all the other guys do, you write to her and you say something like, listen, I'm going um, uh, climbing on uh, the weekend with a few friends. Would you like to come? And even if um, she doesn't want to come to that you're going to get her attention because it's different from all the other guys so you're more likely to get a response of either yes or i can't do that but let's do something soon and if she does say no you're doing something cool anyway then when you do um suggest when she does show some interest in something you know so you could even say um you know do you like uh artistic stuff and she says yes and you say oh i'm going to this painting class with some friends you should come um you know and should i pick you up or would you meet us there so you can use illusory choice there as well so that's it guys um quick video with some stuff on persuasion uh as always stay tuned for more i know it's been a while and some news my book is now out on audible so if you've got an audio um if you like audio books and if you've got an account with audible go to audible.com and look for richard Lavarina or the natural and check out my book if you haven't already thanks for watching guys and see you soon